guys, it's Trina, and this is my spoiler-free full series review of the Jessica Darling series by Megan McCafferty. There are five books in this series, and the books in order are Sloppy Firsts, Second Helpings, Charmed Thirds, Fourth Comings, and Perfect Fifths. This is a young adult series and it was first published back in 2001. I didn't start reading this series until just a couple of years ago and the reason I picked it up is because I have heard so many people like refer to it as a series that they really enjoyed at one point so I wanted to know what it was all about. This is a contemporary series and the unique thing about it is that these books are diary entry format so we are actually reading the diaries of the main character Jessica Darling so it's her writing about her day-to-day -day life and so because of that this is a very character driven story. It's mainly just Jessica navigating her school life and her romantic relationships and her friendships. At the beginning of book one, Jessica's best friend who she's grown up with has moved away and so Jessica is starting a new school year with her same group of friends minus her best friend. So now she suddenly feels like she doesn't even belong in this friend group. Meanwhile, there is a new girl that has transferred into their school that is really shaking up that friend group. On top of all of this, Jessica is dealing with possibly having her first romantic relationship of her life. Jessica frequently bemoans the fact that she's never had a boyfriend and she feels like she is the last person in her high school that has yet to have sex. And so because her best friend is no longer there who she can talk through all these feelings with, Jessica turns to her journals and she writes down all of her thoughts as she is dealing with her friendships, her school life, her family relationships, and all of her feelings on her sex life or lack thereof. All of that is detailed in her journals. The series does have a pretty strong emphasis on her romantic relationships and her sex life and it is written pretty graphically like you're gonna probably get to know more details than you ever wanted to know about fictional characters certain body parts but it's not graphic in the way like erotica I wouldn't say that it's that extent and as far as her character Jessica is an extraordinarily snarky character and at times this is very very funny however at other times her level of snark is just outright mean in particular there is a lot of girl on girl hate she's very rude to her friends she basically basically hates her friends and I have no idea why any of them put up with her. There's a lot of slut shaming from Jessica and from all of the characters. Jessica very frequently insults the one lesbian character that is in the series and furthermore I do think that the representation of that lesbian character is pretty flawed because she is pretty much represented as a character who will cheat and who is only gay because she couldn't have the boy that she wanted. Another thing that I wasn't a fan of of this series, which is kind of a shame, is I did not like the main relationship. I was very frustrated with the lack of communication between the two characters. It was not a relationship that I was ever invested in, so that made a big chunk of this series pretty unenjoyable to me. I've talked a lot about the things that I did not enjoy about this series, but I do want to let you guys know some things that I did enjoy. My favorite thing about this series is that we watch it grow with the character. The first book covers Jessica's junior year of high school. The second book covers her senior year of high school. The third book actually does cover her entire college experience. The fourth book sees Jessica fresh out of college and trying to figure out what she wants to do with her life, with her career, with her newly earned degree. She's in that job hunting phase. And then book five actually takes place two or three years after book four. Jessica is established in her career. She is an adult. As far as my feelings on these books, and which ones were my favorites, I really enjoyed books one through three. I didn't really like certain plot points in book one, however I really enjoyed getting to know Jessica at the front of the series and I really enjoyed the nostalgic feel because I was in high school in the same years that Jessica was when these books were being published. It definitely took me back to that time of life. I do think that the author really nailed that experience. Reading these books was very much like tapping into a piece of myself that I had not been in touch with for like 15 years so I did definitely feel like this series was real it was raw and at other points because this is a dated series and because it was so raw she has some pretty negative attitudes that I was not comfortable with reading about. As hard as it is to read them it was very true to the time period in which this was set and so I can't really hold those things against 
against the beginning of this series at least, but by the end of the series I was kind of over them because I know that once I had gone through college and the job hunt and into adulthood, my attitudes and a lot of those things had changed, whereas Jessica's had not. So in the end, I was not really a fan of the fourth and fifth book because at that point I just couldn't really stand some of those dated attitudes. Would I recommend this series? Overall, it's a very hard series for me to recommend. If you are in your late 20s or early 30s, you would have a great appreciation of the time frame that this series was set in. I think that it would call back a lot of memories for you, it would bring back a lot of nostalgic feelings, and you would really appreciate how real the series is. However, if you are younger than that, if you are maybe in your early 20s or if you are a teenager and you want to pick this book up because it is young adult about a teenager, I am very hesitant to recommend this. It's so dated that I just have trouble envisioning that today's teenagers would really relate to a lot of the things in this and I feel like many things in this series could be seen as problematic today and I definitely saw them as problematic today as I'm reading but were they accurate to when this book was written and when this book was set? They really were. However, with that said, I did read the first three books along with a friend who is 11 years younger than me, and she said that she had no trouble connecting with it, that she felt that it was very reminiscent of her own experiences too. So who knows, if you are a younger reader, you may really enjoy it as well. I just find that I would be very hard pressed to give a blanket recommendation of this series. But if you really want a character who is full of snark, and if you want an examination of the millennial college and school experience, then this might be a series that you might consider. That is all I have to say on the Jessica Darling series. If you guys have read this one, please let me know your thoughts on it in the comments, or if you are thinking about picking this one up and you have any more questions of things that I didn't cover in this review, please don't hesitate to ask me below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the comments. Bye!